I grew up in South. To be specific, Southeast. And if I was to go further, I'd say Camberwell, just bordering Peckham, where the pigeons are 100% disrespectful, where there used to be a spa and a cost cutter, where as soon as the clock strike 11, the streets belong to the foxes. South London is learning how to ride a bike with my dad in Burgess Park, crashing into a wall, it's proper barber shops on every corner. It's 10 different languages on the high street. Spanish, tree, Ibo, Tagalog, Tigrinya, Swahili. It's nooks and crannies I still don't know exist. It's where Morley's rules the roost. The smell of plantain frying onto migrating streets in Jera seeped through by succulent meats and sweet stews. Aunties who adorn the streets in their Sunday best. Kente, Ankara, Geles and beautifully embroidered hijabs, trust me, Ain't no need to go up north because South hits differently. South London is too expensive to live in now. South London is home. I've never longed to venture much further. Something has always pulled me back. Back to South, back to the estate, back to home. What connects an estate are the stairs. The stairs of a council estate see everything. From the drug deals, the gangsters in hoodies and low jeans, to the kids that sit on the steps, their very own youth club. The single mother on the top floor with a kid on her hip and a baby in her hand-me-down buggy. The old lady that lives at number 56 with no one but her trolley. Or the sus car that hasn't moved in a week. Go to the top and you'll see the stars shine but go to the bottom and you're pulled back down to reality. A council estate with no potential for prosperity. The government has vanished like rats on the tracks at Clapham South. So we form a community strong that congregate and escalate whilst we right our wrongs and our flaws up and down the stairs to our respective doors. South is home. I don't get those people who say, <gasps> Oh, South! No, don't go there. Or my friend's parents telling them they're not allowed on my estate. Funny thing is, they lived in estates too. I guess you don't fear a known evil. Yeah, a guy got stabbed on Christmas Day, but my sister, a newly sworn doctor, ran to his aid. I'm still proud of my sister till this day. And I pray to God that that boy is okay but South is safe, because South is home. Like any other boy in South, my brother is always on the lookout to level up. His newest quest, massaging, PKO underscore services. Everyone in London is a little broken. He's massaging more than just skin and muscles, he's nurturing souls. South Breed is the strongest woman, and my other sister's one of them spends most of her time inside. I call it marinating, waiting for the time, that defining moment, like when sand turns to glass and despite the surroundings, like the rose that grew from the concrete, she will rise. Being Ghanaian and living in South means several trips to Peckham with my mum, trolley in tow. On one occasion, my mum was doing the absolute most I gave her one look and said, surely you're not going to Peckham looking like that. She said, Peckham is Africa, it's Ghana, it's home. Now there's a different feeling in the air. When I go to Peckham, I feel out of place. Unfamiliar, unwelcoming faces stare back at me. They scrutinize the smells, the shops, people like me. Does my mum still feel the same way about Peckham? Is South still home? Is South safe? Has South changed? Being black and British, or British and black, the British would probably say black, and that I should go back home. To which I say what? To the estate? Like I say, South is home. If you missed it before, I'll say it again. I grew up in South, to be specific, Southeast. And if I was to go further, I'd say Camberwell, 
just bought her in Packham. 